today's update was special as the oldest weapon, known as Shu Tsukiyama, had been finally reworked after a whole 6 years. In this video, I'll be fully covering the rework and the other changes that were made in the recent update. Starting off with the Shu rework, the model had been completely remade and now uses mesh deformation instead of it being a stick with no animation. The weapon is now usable and no longer a very buggy start weapon. The price is still 500,000 yen and this is the first stage so it requires no RC. Starting off with the click, you perform a basic slash attack that deals around decent damage, nothing too crazy. Following up next, the E move is a dash that pierces targets. This move does apply stun and allows for simple combos. The R move is very similar to King K1 dual mode R. You spring off of the Kagane and slam the ground, dealing damage to nearby enemies. During this move, you gain bonus speed for the duration of the move. You can also slide this decently far. Although I do warn you that the hitbox is pretty small and that it's hard to hit. On to the last move. That being the F, you dash to a target in front of you and stab them multiple times. This does inflict bleed damage, which means that your target cannot block it and will be forced to eat damage if they're hit by the F move. Lastly, this is how the block animation looks like. You thicken or kind of stretch your cognate to create a barrier that acts like a shield. The block is normal and can be broken like most other blocks. I do think this Cogne did deserve a rework and although the rework finally came, weapon could receive some small buffs to make it compare uh, with other starter weapons and make it somewhat viable in PvP because right now I do think that it is pretty weak, especially with all the moves having barely any range, but at least weapon is now usable for new players and you know it's no longer a buggy weapon. Another part of the update was tweaking weapons with vertical mobility, uh, that being weapons like Haki K2, Ken K2, Rotten Fallow, and Feruta. I'll exchange the vertical aiming system and now you have to hold the right mouse button to aim your vertical moves up. Haki K2 in R no longer scale with how high you aim up. Instead, it adds an extra flat 2.5 seconds cooldown on your E and R if you aim it vertically. This helps a lot as sometimes Talk K2 players would slightly aim up before the update and add extra little cooldown on their E and R. Ken K2's also received some changes in this update, mainly focusing on his vertical mobility move. The centipede mode E cooldown went from 3 seconds to 2 seconds if you aim it completely horizontally or if you don't hold the right mouse button. This should allow ground Ken K2's to combat more properly and not force them to swap from the centipede mode to Kagane mode to avoid attacks. I think the Talk K2 changes are very nice. It's essentially a, a revert and it's hard to get value out of your vertical E and R. Now that Talk K2 has been reverted, uh, Concussor is now viable again and you no longer have to run Ejector on Talk K2. That's all for this video. There isn't anything else to the update and hope you all enjoyed watching this.